nobody's doing laundry. This- Anytime I'm doing laundry, he will walk into the room and start complaining. When I came home, he's like, hi, where are you going? What are you doing? Come here. Yeah. He will follow me around the house, keep looking at me like, hey, are you going to pick me up or what? He doesn't want to be without me at all. Hello. Let's say I'm cooking and he'll just start climbing on me, dig in into my shirt. Stop. Stop. Does this look good? Uh-huh. You can't have it, it's hot. He's so affectionate, but it took us like months to build trust. Basically my whole life I wanted a parrot. My mom always said like, hey, um, you know, once you grow up and get married, you can have any pet you want. So I had plenty of time to do a lot of research and find out more about Maka. I knew that they're very difficult to take care of and I knew what I was getting into. And then I lost my mom and when I came home after the funeral, I was very sad and I just wanted to go to the rescue and spend time with the birds because birds always made me happy. That's when I met him. He did look pretty rough. His feathers were not in the best shape. His diet needed to be changed. He was just shaking the whole time and I guess terrified of me. But I was like, I met the one that's supposed to be for me. I started visiting Vandal a few times a week. Once he started getting used to me, I adopted him. I took him to the vet and, uh, you know, did all the blood work. And as soon as we got home, he climbed on my shoulder and he would just sit there. Because he was in a new environment, he saw me as um, his safe space. I think you have... You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. Want to go to the shoulder? First few weeks, he was terrified of being outside of the cage because of the amount of time he spent in it. I would leave the door open and we set up a lot of toys and things for him to play with. So then one day he just started kind of like stepping up to me. And once he realized that he can be cage free, he definitely built a lot of trust. Flip over. There you go. Good boy. Now he's happy and curious and he wants to be part of everything. He's very excited to go on car rides and we'll just do like random singing dancing session. <laughs> and if I lunch, he takes us as a chance to climb on me. He'll give me kisses, he will give me hugs. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh. He always has a ways of making me smile. I'm glad that he picked me because he really does make my days happier. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible.